everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, I am Nicole from my Pandora Charmed Life. Today's video, we're going to get a close-up look at my Reflections bracelet. Before we even get started on this video, if you watched my um, catalog video, you may have seen I wasn't that excited about the Reflections line that was coming out. When I saw it in person, that kind of changed. One, it's not a typical bracelet that I would buy. Um, but I do like that there is like a certain level of elegance to it. It's way daintier than I thought it was going to be. When I first saw this strap, um, people described it like watch straps and I just kind of pictured it to be thicker. So when I saw it, I was very satisfied with the width of the bracelet. So that was one like yes pointer to me. The second thing I really liked about the mesh bracelets were how it looked with Pandora Rose. I had to give it a try, right? Like, I just had to. I'm a loyal Pandora customer, and they put out a new product that I thought I was going to take a pass on, but this go around, um, I took the plunge and I tried it out, and so far, I'm loving it. So we'll go ahead and get a close-up look of this bracelet and the clip charms that I have with it, and we'll talk a little bit in detail about what I kind of think of those. Oh, and also stay tuned because we'll look at the gift with purchase that came with this purchase, which is right here, and we'll take a close-up look at the jewelry box that I got for free with this purchase. So here's a close-up look of the bracelet. I did get the bracelet in silver. As you can see, it's not like a super thick bracelet, right? If we compare it next to like a moments bracelet, it's thinner. If we compare it next to a snake chain, it's pretty thin. Let me grab a bangle, that way you can see. This will be good. Here's the, the mesh bangle and next to the mesh bracelet, or the Reflections bracelet. And you can see it's not like significantly thicker, at least because I expected it to be like really thick. I thought that it would be, I thought that would be a bigger difference. The clasp has Pandora written on it on both sides. The hallmark is actually pretty hidden. Um, I can't even really get a good picture of it because it is inside here. And it's really hard to see. But the that's how the bracelet opens and closes. You just have this little notch that this clips right onto, like so. Okay, then getting into the charms. I'm a little bit confused as to whether or not this charm is supposed to move or not. So you can see I have the sweet bow. This was actually the thing that got me hooked because of the cuteness of this bow. I had to get it. And I'll insert some pictures, that way you can get some close-up of these charms in detail. But there is silicone lining on the charm, but um, this one still moves. So I might need to take it to my store to see if that's working as designed or if it shouldn't move like that and it should be more put in place like the floating heart. It stays. Right? I can move it with my fingers if I wanted to, but for the most part it stays in place. This floating heart is really cute because one side does say Pandora, but if you maybe don't want that branding, you can just flip it to the other side when you clip it on and have it be just plain. So I kind of like that versatility. I have it with Pandora showing because I'm proud of this brand and I like it. On the other side of the bow clip, it has it's just more plain and it has Pandora written on the side. And again, we'll get some close-up pictures of that. So my overall experience with the Reflections line is I do like it. I have stacked it with my Apple Watch, I've stacked it with Essence, I've stacked it, um, I've worn it plain. And I'm going to insert some pictures, I had like a little modeling session to see how I liked it. And I stacked it with a few options, so those will be entered here so you can check out whether or not you like those looks. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen them. But so far, you guys, I am... Um, I'm pretty happy with this bracelet. Now, like, if I'm being 100% honest, if this was a different brand, I wouldn't 
have gotten it. Um, it just would have been something that I passed on, but like I said in the beginning, I am loyal to Pandora and I wanted to give it a try. And if I am being really honest, they have a like cute little Pandora Rose Rocket Charm that's gonna be coming out I think in November. And then I wanna check out the star ones. So that I'll definitely have to take a look. And um, if you weren't sure how these worked, these do clip on. So there is a tiny little notch here. This goes for both of the charms, um, but they clip, so they clip and then snap back on. So that's how you put these on in case you were wondering, should have covered that in detail. So now for the gift with purchase was this cute little jewelry box. We're gonna get closer so you could see this too. This jewelry box is gray with like some quilted designs that just add a little bit of character to this jewelry box. This has a button snap and they're in like a rose gold color and this has the little Pandora logo. So up here you have a couple compartments. So one you have a beautiful mirror that says Pandora and we'll see the camera in the mirror. And then you also have some sections for rings and I've just thrown my Pandora rose rings in here. You have this little pillow, which is what the reflections bracelet goes on. And then you have these really steep, empty slots. So in here I have put some of my earrings actually in there. And my reflections bracelet would be in here, but we were just showing that. So that's the first part. And then this bottom compartment has like a little drawer and what I am using this drawer for is my essence bracelets because they're they're not bulky and this will still close with the essence bracelet. I was able to fit a moments bracelet if it did not have Murano's, but where's my Okay, but if you get a bracelet with Murano's, it doesn't quite work. Like it doesn't work. So you can try to kind of shove them in there, but it's not really worth maybe ruining or snagging some of your charms. Look like I just did now, and now I'm stuck. Hold, please. So, very, very useful for my essence bracelets. That will go in here. This jewelry box is definitely smaller than I thought it would have been, right? Like, I mean, I can grab it with my hands, right? I don't have like the world's largest hands. Like this is a very small jewelry box, but it's perfect for carrying a few extra items. Um, in here, I know I was running out of space for my rings and my Mother's Day jewelry box that I had received. And I do like that this is gray. I do like that that quilted detail is literally all around the box and it just adds a little bit of character to it. Definitely happy that we had like good jewelry box gift with purchase. I do wish we could fit some moments charms in here or maybe a jewelry box that has the rods to keep some of your orphan charms, but I'm not going to complain. Very happy with this one. So that is my quick overview of what I got from the Reflections line. I'm probably not gonna invest too much more into it. Again, I do want the Rocket Charm when it comes out. Maybe the Star one, we'll take a look at that one when it comes. But um, I'm probably going to keep it pretty simple. I don't imagine I'll ever have more than one bracelet. Just giving it a try. Um, but what do you think? Like, I am dying to know. I saw a lot of polls going on on Instagram. Um, some people were excited and a lot of people weren't. So um, what camp are you in? Or were you like me and not excited? Then you saw it in the store. Then you had to give it a try and so on and so on. We all know how that story goes. Anyway, leave me comments in the comment section and I wanna hear about your experience. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.